Gary Mehegan, who doesn't need any introduction. MasterChef Australia has sort of changed the way we perceive, talk about, even eat our food. Because I don't have my chef whites and uh, I, don't have a sh <laughs> I don't have a dish for Gary to critique, I'm going to ask him about some food trends and get his opinion on them. So let's start off with something simple. Dominic, the fact that it's trending uh, right yeah, now. Yeah, it's one of those spices actually that it's just, it adds instant impact yeah. to a dish. Earthy, dusky, yeah. sunshine. Yeah. And okay, so what about alternative pasta? You know, made out of zucchini or quinoa. Or oh, what, like zoodles? Yeah, B basically, yeah. Let me just ignore yeah. Should we just ignore that one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so what about uh, alternatives to olive oil, now that everyone seems to be talking about canola? And yeah, so. it's interesting, isn't it? Because actually I've, in the last few years, and everybody's kind of deviated and they use rice bran oil and you know canola oil and just cottonseed oil. I mean, there's lots of beautiful, I love um, nut oils. I mean, oh. not to cook with, but to finish with. Every oh. oil, mm -hmm. every oil, yeah. even mustard oil, for example, yeah. when you temper spices, every oil is going to add some kind of flavor or should add some value to food. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that now olive oil, we're encouraging people to cook with more and more often. Okay, so what about uh, meals in a bowl? Meals in a bowl. So like rice bowls and yeah. nutra bowls. It's almost like a, um, a smoothie on steroids, you know, oh, where it's okay. got a bit of density to it. Yeah. You can use chia seeds, for example, coconut milk, make almost like a porridge. In fact, yeah. every superfood you can jam into a into a bowl oh, okay. is kind of the in thing. Oh, okay, right. But the funny thing is that superfoods like kale, mm -hmm. I don't know they were called superfoods when I was a kid. They were just greens. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. And speaking about uh, smoothies, so what about uh, drinkable desserts? But you know what? I think the Indians are masters of drinkable desserts, don't you? All the lass oh, lassies and, and all that. I mean, tea, right now, yeah. mango lassie yeah. is yeah. absolutely delicious. So I don't mind a drinkable dessert, but I do like texture. I think food, mm -hmm. uh, if you watch MasterChef, yeah. we always like crunch and we like smooth and we like creamy. <laughs> and then, of course, we like lots of different flavors, like sweet, sour, hot, salty. Yeah. You know, tick, 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 tick. That's yeah. what I kind of like. Uh, I don't know if you know about the beef ban going on in India. Oh, the ban! I couldn't live without my beef. <laughs> uh, but if a city can embrace that, you know, if a state can embrace that, or a country can, a country. can embrace that, <laughs> can a country embrace that, it's going to make it's it's going to make a difference in some way, isn't it? Yeah, well, Exciting. I'll stay tuned.